Hey guys, welcome to another installment of uh, Virtual Tastings here with Fullerton Wines. Today we are tasting our 2016 Five Faces Pinot Noir. So Five Faces is uh, named after my family. There are five of us and our initials spell faces. So Philip is my little brother, I'm Alex, Caroline is my little sister, and my parents are Eric and Suzanne. Five Faces Pinot is a blend from multiple vineyards throughout the Willamette Valley, meant to capture the Willamette Valley in each specific year. 2016 that we're tasting right now was our earliest year ever on record. So it started super early, a lot of heat. Then we luckily had a little bit of a cool down in June. Then July and August came back, pushing the grapes to be picked um, actually before the end of August, which is unheard of in Oregon. First grapes for this were picked August 31st, and we were entirely done harvesting by the end of September. We have two main soil types in the Willamette Valley. We have old uplifted seabed, so old uh, decomposed sand and siltstone, which gives kind of darker fruited, more uh, structured wine. Then we have old basalt flows, which tend to give redder fruited, more elegant wines. Uh, when we blend Five Faces Pinot Noir, we never look at which vineyards are volcanic and which are sedimentary. We always try to make the best blend we can. And every year it ends up almost exactly 50% volcanic, 50% sedimentary. So geographically it takes from grapes from throughout the Willamette Valley and soil wise it's about 50-50 of our main two soil types. So a true Willamette Valley blend. In order to build a complex Willamette Valley Pinot Noir, we use three very different fermentation vessels. We use uh, classic old school open top stainless steel tanks. We use closed top stainless steel tanks. And we also use these uh, much less common and very new, very exciting roto barrels to ferment red wine. All of the color and a lot of the flavor in red wine comes from the skins. The juice and pulp are completely clear, but the color and a lot of flavor compounds are contained in the skins. So red wine is fermented on the skins. What we do is we take and we put whole berries into either an open top tank, a closed top tank, or into one of these berry barrels through the latch. So throughout fermentation, the skins and juice are in contact with each other and the skins will form what we call a cap that sit and they float on top of the juice. So what you want to do is mix that up during fermentation. In an open top tank you can use your feet or you can use a plunger device, what we call punch downs. In closed top tanks you can only pump over, so that's where you pump the juice over the top of the, of the cap. And in these rotator barrels, you can do something that's very soft and not as extractive, and that is to just rotate the barrel. We'll give that a shot real quick. So this is uh, right now empty. When it's full, it's a lot harder than this, but this barrel sits on little casters. We have a nice little cap form, and I'll show you what it kind of looks like when we're actually fermenting. You have to put your whole body into it. And right now you can, you're splitting the cap apart. You want to be very careful right here. And uh, grab the cap, pull it, and you're done. We do that about two times a day during fermentation for the rotator barrels. So a couple things you get from fermenting with rotator barrels is you get less oxygen, which makes everything a, a little less smooth, but you're being very gentle and soft and not creating as much temperature um, increase from fermentation which is making an elegant wine so you get this wine with a lot of tension where it's soft but what you have is it's alive you also get oxygen ingress through the staves during fermentation so you're not you're not completely without oxygen and if it's a new barrel you get a little bit of new oak introduced into the wine during fermentation, which can integrate the oak faster, make it much more approachable, less aromatic, but still very nice and smooth on the mouth. Using these three very different fermentation vessels, we're able to create a lot of complexity 
and nuance in our Willamette Valley Pinot Noir blends. This wine showcases the essence of Willamette Valley Pinot Noir with fresh fruit, spice, little fresh tilled earth, and just drinkability that is almost unmatched by any other region in the world. The blend is composed of 25% new oak and about one third whole cluster. And it is a perfect pairing for a wide variety of different meats, including duck, chicken, pork, and uh, very umami heavy dishes, especially mushroom dishes that can be harder to pair with bigger red wines. So many of you are already club members. For those of you who are not, the best way to experience our wines is to sign up. We have uh, a variety of different levels. Uh, it's very customizable and there is something for everyone. Thank you for joining us as we continue to taste virtually. We sincerely hope that you are staying sane, staying safe, and remembering that if you're gonna party, you gotta make it a six foot of party. Cheers, James. Cheers, Alex. <laughs>